Hello, welcome to Attack Release. We have built a little baby synthesizer with this 62 HP pallet case, and we're gonna patch it up and make some music with it. Don't really have any direction just yet for this, but uh, we're gonna see where it takes us and go from there. Let's talk through what we have in this system. Um, we have mutable marbles, which is going to handle our pitch sequencing out of these outputs. We have Noise Engineering's Desmodus Versio. It's a reverb kind of delay sometimes. It's got some really beautiful sounding stuff. This is the Make Noise Mimeophone. It's a multi-tap delay that does all kinds of awesome stuff. Uh, it has a filter in it um, and a reverb built in as well. This is our Intelligil Dixie 2 Plus oscillator. That's gonna be one of our two voices that we're playing with today. Um, super capable, super simple, uh, pretty cheap, and just does exactly what it's meant to do. And then our filter today is our After Later Audio Popple. This is one filter, but it has a left and right offset, so you can kind of use it as two filters. We have Mosaic. Uh, they make 1U modules that are super cool and helpful utility modules and whatnot, but this is a VCO that they make, and it sounds great. Here's a Switch Malt by IntelliJo also, and here's an envelope also by Mosaic, and then that's just our out module. So I'm gonna take pitch out of marbles, and I'm gonna send one of those into the Volts Proactive of Dixie. And from Dixie, which I think is gonna be like my higher melody, I plan to have like kind of a higher melody and then a bass, and, and that's it, and some effects, and then sometimes that's all you need. I'm gonna take a square wave out of Dixie and go into the Desmodus Versio. Out of Desmodus Versio into the Mimeo phone. And then we'll come out of our Mimeo phone to our filter. There we go. This has um, a bunch of different outputs. We're gonna use the 24 dB. Let's not blow our ears out here. What do we got? All right, let's just hear our dry sound here. There's a melody. That's a thing. <clears throat> you know, right now it's just spitting pitch out nonstop. We hear notes. And I want to have it a little more plucky. And I'm gonna come out of that envelope and I'm going to ping that with this other side of marbles here. Turn our cutoff down and we'll just hear there's an overall cutoff here, and then there's like a control for left and right. So if we turn up our control of just our left. Hey, look at that, we got a plucky thing. Then we bring in a little reverb. We need to go our filter first. We'll go to our filter. We go into our Desmodus Versio. And come out of that into Mimeophone, out of our Mimeophone into our output. Ooh, that's a thing. That's a bit much. So we get a little more subtle. There we go. The marbles is gonna be our clock. So uh, the center one is always just our consistent clock left and right jump around based on this bias knob, right? So it'll favor left or right, more or less. Dixie's giving us cool stuff. We got our clock going into our malt up here. And our malt's gonna go to Mimeophone. And let's hear Mimeophone. So for my bass voice, I'm gonna use this analog VCO up here, and we're going to go into our volts per octave here, and I'm just gonna go right to the filter. 
uh, square wave there also. And we'll go in right. So what I'm gonna do is take one of these guys, made by Board Brain. Uh, these are cool, these are like little standalone mixer fader guys. You can go from one to two or two to one, and then there's a little fader to take this left and right out into my output. So we're hearing everything through both channels, left and right. Mimeo phone, one of those, into the other side. There it is. So you go to one side, you hear just the bass. Go to the other side, you hear just the uh, melody there. I don't want that bass just going nonstop either. So I'm just gonna go right out of the gate. Uh, this is probably gonna be too much. And it is. I got these cool little guys. Uh, Waveform Magazine made these. These are just little attenuators and they're designed to kind of screw on top of modules and sit there. Uh, so you have an extra attenuator just on your system, which is pretty cool, but it gets a little tight, I found. So I just use them just as standalone guys because they're little passive attenuators. So go into there, into our frequency modulation. So now we can just turn that gate up a little bit. There we go. Cool. All right, we got a thing. All right, that's a melody. So it's just playing random notes right now. Um, and it sounds cool. We could do something. Like we could just leave that and turn the rate way down. And have it kind of be, that's too much. Turn that bass down a bit. But I think that's a little too slow for what I'm feeling. So I'm gonna turn the rate back up a little bit. So on marbles, it's playing random pitches right now. So what you can do is lock the random pitches as well as lock the random gates that it's giving you on the left side, right? So, say if I like kind of what's happening with these pitches, I can just hit this X and it's going to start repeating the previous notes that it's done. And you take this length knob and you can set the number of steps. So, like right now I have it set to three. So you'll hear it like shortly start repeating. There it goes. So it's kind of repeating the same thing over and over again now. And now within that, you can take bias knob and it'll favor lower notes or higher notes. We can take our spread knob and it'll spread out the distribution of, of pitches, right? And then our steps knob will start peeling away notes of our scale as we go clockwise. Yeah, you just drop into something so quickly on the Mimeo phone, it's magic. So all the way clockwise, you just get octaves of the same uh, root pitch, right? And you come back, it starts adding notes to the scale. And now we're into something, you know? You can see quickly how you get somewhere pretty fun. And we can change our length while we're locked here. That's cool. This Deja Vu knob then, I mostly use it, if you go to the right, it'll kind of grab some randomness within the sequence of notes that you've kind of locked in there. So it doesn't just play the same thing, it'll kind of reorder some stuff for you, right? So as you go clockwise. So you kind of re 
reorders, repeats some notes there. It's not just exactly the same thing. So it gives you a little bit of randomness in there, which is always great in modular. Controlled chaos within the parameters that you send to the modular system. So this is cool. I'm digging this. I mean, there's a pretty simple setup that we really quickly got to a fun place to jam with. I often do this. I'll take a few modules out of my larger cases and just build a small little setup like this. It sort of forces you to think outside the box. You come up with new ways to use your modules or you get to know them a lot better. I'll post a performance from this setup. If there's any feedback, any comments, any suggestions, uh, please, Go ahead and leave me a comment. Thanks for being here. Talk soon.